Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Stefan, and uh, I'm gonna tell you how to install Handy Theme and sample data for it. Okay, so um, in front of you, you can see that we have a clean WordPress install on our domain, and um, there is nothing but basic themes here. And we now want to install Handy. What do we need to do? We need to connect to our um, to our site via FTP. Uh, navigate to our uh, WordPress install, as you can see it right here. Uh, then we should enter the WP Content folder. Then we should enter the Themes folder, and uh, we need to drag our theme right here. So uh, I already have it here, so I will delete it. So see, there is no handy. So we find our unzipped handy store uh, theme here, and we hit hit upload, and it's being uploaded. Now there are different ways of installing uh, themes. Uh, another one, an alternative one, would be uh, going to appearance themes in your WordPress dashboard. So it would not involve FTP. And you'd need to hit Add New, and then you could upload a theme, choose a file, and navigate to Handy Store Zip. So it have to be zipped, and you could install it that way. But you'll still have to unzip uh, the package on your computer and uh, go inside it and get some things from there. So. I actually prefer working through FTP or SSH from the very beginning. Uh, so here we have uh, Handy uploaded to our site and we see it in Appearance Themes menu. Now we need to activate the theme. Uh, the theme has been activated. So as you can see right here we have um, the 2016 theme, basic WordPress theme. Now we refresh the page and we see that Handy has taken effect. Uh, we can see that the theme is installed and the styling has changed. But of course, it looks nothing like our demo because few more steps need to be accomplished. So first, we need to install plugins. Uh, there's quite a bit of them. Uh, currently, there are 16 plugins and there might be more. There might be less. It changes from update to update. But uh, what we need to do is we need to select all these plugins and hit install and hit apply. Now of course uh, you may not need some of those plugins and um, you may not choose them and, and, and so on and so forth but as long as we are installing demo data it, it is advised to install all the um, necessary all the required plugins and then you may deactivate some of those you don't actually need. So it's gonna take some time because the it, it's a little bit heavy for the server to install all these plugins, so uh, we'll have to wait. And uh, probably a minute or maybe even two. And after the plugins are installed, we'll have to activate them. Uh, so let's wait till they're installed and then I'll show you how to activate them. Just a few more moments and they should be installed. Come on, server, do it. Now, this is my uh, demonstration hosting account. It's not very powerful, so it's not very fast. But see, a uh, couple of minutes and we have all the plugins installed. So now we have to return to the required plugins installer and activate them. So uh, it's better to activate WooCommerce first because Otherwise, WC vendors will be activated first and it requires WooCommerce and you'll see a notice that it cannot be activated. So 
I'll just go ahead and activate WooCommerce first and go to my dashboard to configure WooCommerce because it, it requires a certain configuration. You can set up the first ones and then you can skip the other ones to configure later. Go back to your admin panel. Go to begin activating plugins. Select all the rest of plugins and bulk activate them. It shouldn't be long before they are installed. Right. Okay, so they are all installed and activated, but we don't see any difference on the front end because we have no demo content yet. Um, so how do we add it? <clears throat> to add uh, demo content, you need to upload a plugin. Um, and it is located in that folder of your theme on your computer. So what you need to do is to go to your plugins, select add new. Uh, then you should go here, like upload a plugin, choose a file, go to your folder and go to required plugins and here we go it's sample data installer that's what we need and we need to install it so the plugin is installed but uh, we also need the uploads folder uh, you can actually up upload it to your server after the sample data plugin is activated but I prefer to do it before, it's uh, just the way I like it. So we don't activate the sample data installer yet. But we go to download the uploads folder. I have already done this, but to just, just to show you how to do it, we go to our documentation page. And we um, show the... We, we navigate to installing sample data and here is this link to the uploads folder so you can actually follow this link and download the zipped uploads folder then you can zip it like this and you should upload it to the WP content folder of your WordPress install and now it is going to take some time uh, because uh, you know, it's, uh, it's almost 200 megabytes, so it's going to take several minutes at least. Uh, so we just have to wait. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, I don't like making you wait that long, so while the uploads are uploading, to our site, we are going to go ahead and activate the sample data installer plugin. So I hit activate, and it's actually now rewriting our database with with our stuff. So if you have your an existing site, uh, this method is is not good for you because if you want to keep your um, files to keep your content and um, you need to use XML or, you know to upload our demo data or, or something else but but this method right here is going to destroy your site if you have it so uh, this is good only for for clean WordPress installs okay so we have activated sample data plugging um, successfully and um, let's take a look at our front page right now you see it's starting to shape up and starts kind of look like our demo it's still not not exactly like it um, so what we need to do now is we're gonna need to go to appearance handy theme options and we're gonna need to hit restore defaults 
Um, this is going to... To make our theme look even more like our demo. You can see the sidebar is now at the left and it looks very much like our demo, but many images are not there yet. Uh, they are just not there because we are only halfway there. The upload is, is going on and on. Um, so what else do we need to do? Is we probably need to uh, to rebuild some nails. So after the images are uploaded, we might need to rebuild some nails for them to display correctly. It is not always necessary and depends on, on your server conditions, but you know, we'll see if we're gonna need to do it here in a minute. Uh, so the, you can now uh, deactivate uh, sample data installer. This plugin is not really needed anymore. You can even delete it because, you know, you can occasionally activate it once uh, some job has been done on your site and it will wipe it off. So we delete, we hit delete. Yes, delete these files. So it's now has been deleted. And we are waiting for our files to be uploaded. As you can see on our demo, uh, there are users, you know, vendors, uh, demo vendors. Uh, we don't have them in in the basic uh, sample data package because we do not include users in our SQL because we do not want to override or add users to your site for security reasons because if somebody knows these passwords, you know, they, they may use it to access your site and do something bad. So at the moment, we do not uh, have users in our database. So once you install sample data, all users you had remain the same and your passwords remain the same. And we'll be looking for a solution of this problem because many people do, do want to have uh, demo users already. So we are thinking of that. and. If you really, really need demo users, you can go to our support uh, page, to our support portal, and talk to us, and you know, we'll we'll figure out something. Uh, we'll figure out a way to help you to to have those demo users set up. But at the moment, we do not have them included in our demo data, so you will will not have these demo vendors, demo stores, and, and stuff. But you will have everything else, basically all these products, all the sliders and things. So let's take a look at, at our um, files. They are still moving, they are still going there. We have about 45 megabytes left, which is not that much, not 200 anymore. So we are almost there. And yeah, this is basically a live installation, so we, you can see how how it goes, you know. And uh, our front page starts to look better, I believe. Mm, yes, it's... Uh, see, it has all these banners and products now, and... We have many things now. So meanwhile, I will extract the digits JSON file, okay? Uh, so once uh, sample data is installed, you will see that some widgets are missing. Like, for example, if we go to our demo page, you'll see that, like, this one, this banner, 
or this carousel. Um, however, because of serialized data issues, once we install the demo content, um, most likely you will not see these uh, widgets on their places and uh, you won't see some other widgets as well. So we found a solution for that, is, is you need to perform some actions and install those widgets. And how we do it? Uh, again, we go to our handy store folder, to our theme folder on our computer. We go to required plugins and we go to the sample data installer. We can actually copy it and uh, paste it somewhere. Then we need to extract the files and find the widgets uh, folder inside of it and then find this widget data handy JSON file. Now we can copy it again and now we'll need to modify it. So we open it in a in an editor like something like uh, Notepad++ and uh, we then need to find uh, all demo URLs which are handy.themes.zone count and we'll see that there are 13 demo URLs in here and we need to replace these demo URLs with our own URLs so we go to replace and we put um, our site here which is now handy theme, theme check dot net okay I think it is correct as you can see we do not put the HTTP stuff and, and other we just put the URL the actual URL I think I, I'm, I typed it in correctly and we hit replace all now we just save the result and uh, wait till we need to use this file okay our uploads have been uploaded we can see them right here uh, so it is time to refresh our home page all right I think it it looks it looks all right it looks all right so but we'll go to rebuild something else anyway I, I like to do it uh, we just you know have all these thumbnails selected and hit rebuild all thumbnails and they will be rebuilt it's gonna take some time so we have to wait a little bit more We, we have to stay on this page and actually wait till all thumbnails are being rebuilt and after this we'll have to uh, to add all the missing widgets and after that we are probably going to be done we'll need to check if there are any problems and I would check that by opening my site in an anonymous Chrome window to just see how a random person would see it on the internet and if everything fine then we're gonna be done if not we're gonna need to solve uh, the issues that arise alright our server is working on thumbnail rebuild
Okay. It's good to me. Looks alright. Okay, we have six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero images left. The thumbnail rebuild has been finished. Alright. So now we're gonna import our widget settings. This import um, is being um, done by this widget data setting import export plugin. This plugin provides us this functionality. So we choose widget settings import. And now we need to select a file, the one that we modified here. Now we choose it and we hit show widget settings and it shows all the widgets. We just hit select all active widgets and press import widget settings. And alright, so now we have to see all the missing widgets on their places. Yes, here they are, like the wooden kitchen banner and the check it out carousel and you know, so it's, it's pretty much it. Okay, and now we're gonna need to check if our site looks good in, uh, in an anonymous window, so we open it in incognito. <clears throat> and take a look at it. All right, so here we have a problem. We we haven't found a solution to it yet, but we are going to do it. Uh, this redirected too many times problem uh, comes from uh, an unsigned uh, WC vendors page. So we need to go to WooCommerce WC vendors, go to pages. And uh, here you can see the vendor dashboard page, shop settings page, and the orders page. It's uh, it hasn't been set for some reason. I believe that this problem will be gone once we update our demo data set. But just in case you know how to solve it, you just press this drop down and find the orders page here. Okay, there are actually two of them for some reason, but just select the top one, hit save changes, and then let's go back to our incognito window and refresh the page by pressing control R. Okay, and then let's uh, delete this part of the URI and, uh, all right, yeah, this, this looks fine to me. Okay, so this basically how sample data installation happens. We are going to update it and we are going to change things, but the basics of it are like this and we are going to change our tutorials and change our documentation once things change. Thank you for your attention.